This is just making it. Thanks for joining me again. I'm in Cory, Pennsylvania on the corner of Route 6 and 89. I'm at Tri-State Auction Services. They got a lot of stuff this year. This is their spring sale. And they had some retired farmers bring some of their equipment here. So a lot of this stuff is newer. A lot of good high quality. So I'm going to take you around. We're going to start in the back and I'm going to try to show you everything. Okay, since there's so much stuff here, I'm going to go right down the line here. I'm going to try not to skip anything, but I'm going to show it possibly everything on my video. So we got a corn planter there. We've got a truck here. We got a chopper. It is a John Deere. This sort of looks like, I think, a 3970 or 3950. And there's a trailer. Here's a Ford 5600. Pretty good shape. And here we got a, looks like a mixer. Okay. And we've got a nice set of disc here heavy set. That's a heavy disc right there. Okay, we've got a nice dump truck right here. Okay, here we have a silage, looks like a silage feed wagon. It doesn't have a complete roof on it. It's about half the height of a normal silage wagon. But it's got the dual augers in the front. It's a nice wagon. It looks fairly new. H&S. You got a nice front end loader. You can put your silage right in there and go feed the cows. All right, we got a nice little dump truck right here. Boy, is that nice. That's a Ford F550. Super duty. It's got the power stroke. It's got an aluminum bed. That's a nice truck. Let's take a look at this. Let's look at the back here. Oh yeah. You can do a lot of hauling with that. Next we got a nice set of hires. They're pretty lengthy. Brilliant. And there's a camper. For people that like to camp, there's a camper right there for you. So there might be something here that you like. If so, come on down. The auction starts at 9 o'clock this, this time. It usually started at 10, I remember. But this year it's going to start at 9. Looks like an older Kinsey planner. Okay, here's a vertical teal. That thing is enormous. You're gonna need a nice tractor to pull this. And next to it, look at this. Nice wrapper. That thing is huge. That'll take the biggest bell you can make right there. What's the name on it? tube line. Nice wrapper. Now next to it we got a nice silage wagon. It's got the uh, walls on it so the silage doesn't fall out of the sides. It contains it. That's a nice wagon. I think that's 24 foot long. It's an H&S. It's got double axles.
Nice wagon. Okay, here we have a Gale chopper. I don't see... Oh, the heads are right behind me. So I don't know if they're going to sell them together or separate. You'd have to look at the tags. It looks like separate. You've got a hay head here. And it looks like a two-row corn head chop chopper and a three-row corn head right there. So, yeah, you can get them all. Nice unit. Next to that, and I'm sorry if I'm going too fast, but this would be a real lengthy video if I just stay in one spot. And I want to try to show you everything that they have to offer. There's a set of disc chisels, brilliant. Here's a packer. Okay, back here we got a few tractors. Looks like they're a little bit older. John Deere, that's got a backhoe. Here's another John Deere. Okay, that one's got also a front end loader. Got a bunch of what's on there. It looks like a snow plow and a couple of other things. Okay, here we have a brush hog, folds out. Here's an F-350 Super Duty Ford pickup truck. Pretty nice. It's got a flatbed on it. Chrome stacks. Pretty nice truck. Pretty good shape. Okay, over here we got a semi. Don't know a lot about them. That's a Peterbilt. Here's an Alice tractor. Okay, I don't know what kind of uh, horsepower or anything we're looking at there. And here's a 585. I used to have one of these. International case tractor. These are pretty good tractors. They made a lot of them. And uh, good haying tractor. All right, we got a set of nice disc chisels there. It's green, so it's got to be John Deere, right? Over here, we got a set of disc. And we got a hay bind right there. Looks like maybe some extra parts sitting on that skid. We got another dump truck with a snow plow. And this is a pretty nice, it's a feather light gooseneck trailer. It looks to be, I'm just guessing it's maybe an 18 foot. It's hard to say. It's a nice trailer. And we got a bunch of snow plows. Then we got some nice running gears right here. That's a nice set. Anybody looking to build a flat wagon or it's got looks like they have new tires on them all painted up Really nice Right here we have a log truck That's a nice log truck Got a couple of those here this year All right here we got a Ford 5,000 four-wheel drive that'd be a nice work tractor let's take a look at the rear end okay it's got two out one out one set of outlets there on the back two sets that looks like a workhorse Okay, here's a John Deere tractor. Looks like a 264.
All right, here we got, you can make your own round bell wagon. They got a couple of these you can throw on a set of running gears that you got at home sitting around. And you could have your own round bell wagon. Nice set of forks right there, spears, spearing round bales. These are pretty cool. Here's some more spears. These speeders right here, they look like they're well built and they're not gonna move. And they're not gonna break like some of those round bell rings that you can buy. These things are strong. Actually, I'm gonna see what those go for. Got a lot of space to put a round bell in there. This would be good for like around fence line feeders, making a fence line feeder right there. Okay, we got an older New Holland square baler. Looks like high capacity. That's the number on it, it's a 315. We all know what kind of tractor that is. It's got a front end loader. Here's a nice set of discs. I got a set of discs just like this. Heavy duty. When you sink them down, they stay down. That's a pretty nice set right there. Yep. Kawani. Mine are 20 footers, and I think that's what this is. Nice set of discs. Here's an older 327 John Deere kicker baler. Looks like you're going to have to pump that tire up. Here's a Massey 255 cab. Here's another dump truck Ford. People that need a golf cart, there you go. You want to go golfing this year and get your own cart. There you go. Okay, here we got some more trucks. And that looks familiar to me. I don't know if you guys watch my channel, but there's an auto car. Looks just like my dump truck, my triaxle. Built like a rock. Here's a Volvo. Another Volvo. Nice little gooseneck there. Flatbed. Here's a uh, lime spreader. It's either a lime spreader or a fertilizer spreader. I'll take a look at the back. That thing looks like it would take a load. Look at that thing. Those tires are enormous. Wonder what they cost. Yep, this is a lime spreader. It's got the wide rack there and the two spinners. Nice. Here's a nice aluminum bed dump truck. That's a Ford 900. Here we got a Force 4650 John Deere. Look at that thing. That looks like it could do some work. It's got the big duels in the back, four wheel drive. Look at all these weights. I believe those are 100 pound a piece. 4650. Another trailer, another dump truck. We got a log truck right here, it's a Kenworth. Really nice. That's a nice truck right there. It's got the deer guard in the front. Everybody needs one of those. Here's a nice international semi. Look at that thing. Love the color, nice gray. That thing's a beauty. 
All right, we got a big rake right here. Folds out. That thing would rake some hay. The problem I would have, my hay's so thick a lot of times, it would rake too much hay. I wouldn't be able to get the baler in there. Here's a Massey Ferguson 85. Look at that thing. Wonder what year that is. Look at the rear end on it. Yep. And what? I don't know what kind of tractor that is. It's four wheel drive though, it's got a cab. We've got a dump truck here, steel bed. Okay, we've got some tedders, we got some plows, corn planters. Okay, we're gonna sneak in here. There's some things that I don't wanna miss here. There's a blower right there. There's a ditch witch right there. A lot of people are interested in those. Digging ditches. And here's a chopper. It's actually a nice one, a John Deere 6810 right there. That thing looks like it'd do some work. Looks like they have an extra spout here for you and some internals. There's the head on it. Next to it, we got a forage wagon. That's a nice Myers forage wagon. That's another thing that I might be looking for is a nice wagon. Because I'm not too far from here, so I could tow something home if I have to. There's a nice little sprayer right there. It's a Miller Pro 500. Looks like it's got all the tanks that you need on it. And here's another. There's a Miller Pro 50, 58 or 5300 silage wagon that's real nice here's a nice little three-point sprayer anybody's looking for one of those I'm just gonna walk right around here because there like I said it's gonna take me forever to go through all this stuff here's a round bale hauler That's nice. Okay, went over that. Here's a Packer, nice Packer. Could be a John Deere. Here's a Case International Grain Drill. Right here. Looks like it's got the small seed box and the big box double disc well, there's the rear end of it they've got the cover wheels packer wheels here's another three-point sprayer now this one's a little bit larger it's gonna take a pretty good sized tractor could get heavy that's a nice sprayer right there okay we got another wheel rake H&S bifold rake and look at this thing here's a 4230 beautiful John Deere that is a nice tractor somebody took care of it they reconditioned it look at that the skins are pretty nice on it. That is a beauty. Oh yeah. 4230. Let's look at the back end on this. Two sets of outlets. 
I like that tractor. Next tractor I want though, I need a front end loader on it. You got the chrome stack. That is a nice tractor if anybody's looking for one. Okay, here's another brush hog fold out. There's a uh, here's a 6190R, 6190R John Deere, duels in the back. Looks like a fairly newer tractor. Mm, I don't know about the hours on it. But it's got the narrow tires, so it might be for specific crops. Nice tractor. Look at this manure spreader, the Nitro 600. That thing's a beast. That's a tube line. It looks small on the video, but when you get up to it, it's big. That back tire is huge. It looks like it's got vertical beaters on it. I bet you that thing can do some work. But it's going to take a tractor to do it. Okay, here's a John Deere 7330 cab. Looks like maybe 09, 10. That kind of front style, the style of the the hood there in the front it's a nice tractor okay here's a John Deere disc bind older one good shape check this out got a Ram 2500 Hemi looks like a long bed four-door really good shape That's a nice truck. 5.7 liter. In the back there's a Chevy, blue Chevy truck. Here's a Packer. And we got a flatbed here, gooseneck. Looks to be at least a 30 footer. And check this out. Here's a McCormick Farmel BN, it's a two-seater. I've never seen one of these with two seats. That way there you could take your girlfriend on there or your significant other. Take them around with you. Look at that. Tricycle. That's pretty cool. Here we got a Farm L 504 tricycle. There you go. And over here, over here we have a Mahindra with a loader. Got a Mahindra with a loader here. And it's in good condition, four-wheel drive. Two sets of outlets. Skins are real good on it. I don't think this tractor has many hours on it. But that, a lot of people are looking for that size tractor for haying and what have you. It's got a set of forks in the front. Looks like we have a motor right there. And uh, came out of some tractor, I guess. Here we got a chopper head for a chopper. Got a set of hires there. Got another nice truck here. It's a Kenworth. That's a nice truck. Got an old military trailer. Got a couple old heads here for it looks like a John Deere chopper. Okay, then we got a elevator. Hey elevator. Alright, now we're going down this row. Here's an 83, I believe this is an 83 
50 or an 8300 John Deere grain drill single disc it's got the small cedar box here we got a nice new Holland rake here's a Great Plains no-till drill that folds out things huge you're gonna need some horsepower for that here's a nice little tether we got a Massey Ferguson 1135 right there two-wheel drive Looks like we got some tires that go with it. Well, they might be selling those separately. Here's a grain drill, another John Deere. And then right here we have a Hydra spreader, manure spreader. It's pretty nice. Looks like it take big load. It's got dual wheels here. Let's see what the inside looks like. That's a pusher. Here's what the inside looks like. Let's see what the beaters look like back here. There's the beaters. Still has paint on them. Yep. Here's a Chevy truck. Looks like a long bed, 2500 HD, with a snow plow. You got a nice little trailer there, dual axle. Here's a skitter. They got pretty much everything here. Anything so anybody wants. I mean, there's a skitter. Here's a hay rake. Rotary. Folds out. That's a long rake there. Here's a planter. Okay, it looks like it's liquid. Here's another truck. This thing right here, I believe this is for silage. Hooks to a skid steer. And uh, yeah, that rolls on top of it there. It's not the packet. I think maybe it's loosening it up actually. Here's a 750 John Deere no-tail drill. It doesn't have the dolly wheel in the front. It has a three-point hitch. See the back of this? Yeah, it's not in bad shape. You need a decent size tractor for those no-till drills. Okay, here's an older dump truck. And here's a trailer. I know who owns this trailer. That trailer right there, all it needs is a paint job. Somebody could put a nice coat of paint on it. It's got real thick steel, good floor, 16 foot Moritz bumper pool. Here we got a brand new, it looks like, pretty close to it. We've got, what do we got here? A uh, 12 wheel, actually a 13, it's got a kicker. So if you want to rake a lot of hay, Piqua wheel rake. Here's a Heston forage wagon. It's got the three beaters. That thing's in good shape. And here we got a nice kicker wagon. Easy trail. Anybody looking for a nice kicker hay wagon? Right there. Tow it on home. Here's a pro rotor 3114 New Holland rotary rake. Hay rake. That's nice. <coughs> Here's an Agra chopper. Round bell chopper. Right there. And here we got a really nice round bell wagon. That thing must be about 25 feet long, 30 feet long. It's got the dual wheels in the back. You can load some hay on that. And here we got another nice kicker wagon. Another easy trail. Got a set of hires right there, fold down. Right behind that we got a nice set of white discs. 
Okay, here's a flat wooden wagon for hay. Right here we got an F-250 four-door long bed super duty truck. Comes with the plow. It's already hooked to it. Didn't have to plow much snow this year, that's for sure. But there you go. Body's in pretty good shape. That's a big truck. We got another sprayer right here. And right here we got a vertical tillage. Right here. Looks pretty new. Looks like it's pretty heavy. You're going to need a good tractor for that. But I heard those do pretty good jobs. Just walk around it here. Okay, here we got, huh, look at this, a silage wagon, okay, and it looks like somebody took the bed off and just made it like a, a little wagon. It's got the double chains. Here's a skid steer on tracks, JCB. Anybody looking for some big flotation tires? Look at these things. 16.5 L's dash 16 1 SL. Those are big tires there. Carlisle. They look like they're fairly new. Looks like it comes with the rims. Okay, back here we have a New Holland chopper. That's a nice chopper right there. Good shape. And then next to it, we, it looks like we got a uh, brush cutter chipper right there. That'd come in handy for somebody if you want a side job. Tote that around, just chop up branches and stuff in people's yards. Okay, back here we have, it looks like we have a spreader fertilizer spreader right there looks like it's stainless steel it sits tall it's got big tires on it just one axle it's a nice spreader okay we got some skid steer tires we got a nice little wagon we got a set of duels here it looks like he came off of this tractor here, an 8 Ballast Chandler 7060 with the cab, two-wheel drive. Look at this. We were just talking about chippers. That thing looks like it's brand new. That's a Bandit 200 UC. That thing is sweet. That'll do you some work. Looks like everything's hydraulic. Here's another skid steer. 873 Bobcat. These things are in high demand here. And you know, it's you, you think you're gonna get a good price on these. And since they're in high demand, you know, you get sort of disappointed sometimes. There's a 4635 Gale right there. And we have some skid steer attachments here. We have an old set of disc right there. We've got an older rake. And we have a hay tether right there. I used to have one of those 710s. They do a good job. Throws it straight back into the air, right behind it. And we have a big aluminum, looks like a dump trailer. We have a land I can't even pronounce it. It's a Vision. Never heard of this tractor. Landini Power Shuttle, four-wheel drive. Vision 85, 2,150 hours on it. That's actually a nice tractor. I wonder if it's an off-brand of something else. Nice size tractor right there. 
got three sets of outlets in the back. Cab. At first I thought it was a new Holland because it's blue. Here's a skid steer. It's a Cat 232B. Nice. Set a set a disc. These are locust posts. Anybody looking for locust posts? I think they're like four by fours. I'm not sure. This chisel. There's a packer there in the middle. Here's a nice chrome tether. Anybody looking for a tether? And here's another nice bale wrapper. This is an Anderson NWX660 wrapper inline. That's nice. Then we, over here we've got a round bell hauler. It also picks it up. There's an arm that goes on the ground right there. I don't know how many it can hold, but those are nice. Here we got a nice set of Ford plows, auto reset. Here we got a 7740 Ford two-wheel drive cab. Here we got a 7800 John Deere four-wheel drive cab. Nice tractor. Front fenders. These older, a little bit older tractors don't have that DEF. That's what a lot of people try to get away from when they buy these older tractors. Here's a John Deere 630 disc, real heavy set. If anybody's looking for a nice set, that looks like a nice set right there. 630 John Deere. Okay, right here we've got a 6140R John Deere four-wheel drive cab loader nice tractor it's got the hydraulics in the front so you can put a grappler or anything there put attachments on it that is a nice tractor 140 horse the back end has it looks like three sets but the one sets being used probably for the front to attach the attachments to the bucket. Here we have another Crone four star tether right there. Here's a nice 258 rake, hay rake, rubber teeth. Here's a brilliant cedar. These things work pretty good. I heard they work pretty good. They just drop the seed straight down. You got packer wheels right there. Here we got a nice, another Miller Pro 500 sprayer. It's got all the tanks it looks like you need. Nice little sprayer. Here's a John Deere 1750 corn planter, liquid. Six row. Nice planter. Looks like it might rain here, so I'm going to have to hurry it up a little bit. Here's a 970 John Deere Packer. Really nice. Looks like a, another blade plow. And here's a nice John Deere. It looks to be, let me see the number on it. That thing looks new. You can do some planting with this. Yeah, this is a 1590 John Deere no-till drill. Looks like to be about 15 footer. Nice planter. We got a forage wagon, or excuse me, a gravi gravity wagon. Got a gravity wagon. Massey Ferguson with a loader, older tractor. It's 
It's got a back blade in the back. And here's something that I heard it's getting harder and harder to find. At least a nice one. It's a New Holland 355 mixer grinder. Uh, they're nice. They're getting hard to find. Um, and they want an outrageous amount for a brand new one. So if you can see one at a sale like this, better pick it up. Here's a night slinger this thing looks practically new and like I said a lot of this stuff is from farmers that are bringing their equipment here that are retiring so you're gonna see some nice equipment here here is a beautiful New Holland 575 that thing is nice high capacity back here you got a hydraulic kicker right here very nice machine I have an older 310 I mean it kicks out the bales it's not high capacity like this one someday I'm gonna get one of these here's another blower there's a nice John Deere looks like a 625 grain head right here yeah, it looks pretty long maybe 30 feet it's hard to say now look at this here's a John Deere 4600 rollover plows you don't see a lot of these but I heard they're nice to use you don't have to uh, turn around they just flip you can just keep going that's a nice set right there. It's getting a little dark. The sky's getting dark. Might get some rain here. Set of pallet forks. Here's a Ever Earth gravity wagon. That thing's big. That thing will hold a lot of corn. I don't I don't think my corn picker could reach that though. Okay, here's a Massey Ferguson 275 tractor with a cab. Two wheel drive. And right next to this, we have a Disbine 210 New Holland. And this thing, I don't know how many acres it's got on it, but it's not much. Let's take a look underneath here. Oh, yeah, the paint's still on the turtles. See that? It's got the rubber rollers. Nice disc bind. Okay, here we got a Chevy 2500 HD Duramax diesel pickup truck. Very nice. I know there's a bunch of people online bidding on this already. So, here we got a lime spreader. These are always nice to have if you have access to lime. Get this some fields in her in the back. Nice. Okay, we got a Kinsey. I don't know how many row this is, but it's big. It folds out. A Kinsey no-till planter. It's a Kinsey 2600. That is a big planter. If anybody has the tractors to pull it, that is a nice planter right there. And take a look. This tractor right here probably pulled it. We've got a 7215R four-wheel drive cab. Okay, that is a big tractor. And right next to it, we got a 7230R. So my guess is whatever pulled this corn planter was one of these tractors. Or could have been this thing right next to this tractor is a challenger cat on tracks look at that thing yeah if you're here to find a tractor they're they're here I don't know what size you're interested in but 
They've got some tractors. Okay, here we have a John Deere 8130 John Deere. Duels in the front, duels in the back. Cab. That's a big tractor. Let's see here what the back end looks like. Okay. It's got a lot of outlets. Oh, yeah. Right there. Looks like a 1000 PTO. Okay, over here we have a brush hog that folds out. That's a big one. Right here we got, I have one of these. These are really nice. This is a Packer. I have a 108. I think that's what this is. Brilliant Packer. These do a really good job. And they, you got four tires in the back for stability. But these do a good job. It's just starting to rain. Here's a fuel tank. And here's some more dump trucks. We've got a freight liner. We've got a Peterbilt. And we've got a Mac. Looks like they all have aluminum beds. Here's a nice combine. There's always a nice combine at this sale. This is an S550 John Deere. It looks four wheel drive. Duels in the front. Doesn't look much, it doesn't look that old. That's a nice, nice combine. All right, this looks familiar to me, and I have one of these. It's a 6115D. I have a two wheel drive. If you watch my videos, I'm doing work with one of these, but it's not four wheel drive. This is a 673 loader. It's got the front fenders, cab, no DEF. I think it's like an 0910. It's got two sets of outlets in the back. Boy, that wind's picking up. It's a nice tractor. It's got the quick like a skid steer so you can put attachments on it nice all right here's a square baler and this I believe this is a 310 yep there's my square baler right there that's not mine but I have one just like it it's a lower capacity baler but I tell you what it runs like a clock here's an older set of discs Here's a Kun, looks like a, a six star tether, looks heavy duty. There's a bunch of skid steer tires, trailer tires, augers for skid steers, buckets, blades, pallet forks, Here's an older Ferguson. It's a 35. It's got chains on the tires. Here is a, I don't know what kind of tractor this is. You'll have to forgive me on the name. I can't even pronounce it. It's got a nice little loader. That'd be a good, nice little barn tractor. And look at this little skid steer. It's a John Deere 3375. <laughs> it's tiny. I bet you that can get into some spots though. Look at that. All right, we got, it looks like a boom ditch, a cutter, a roller tiller. Here's a nice little excavator. 
those things are handy looks like you get an extra bucket here's a dump truck an f-350 steel bed on it I don't know what year that is here's another brush hog folds out this is a tomahawk 8550 looks like a processor here's an 886 international okay two-wheel drive cab these older internationals man they are workhorses they are built like tanks look at the rear end on those I have a 1486 and I tell you what they are indestructible they are good solid tractors nice okay here's a corn head it looks like a John Deere here's a Mack truck okay older New Holland rake steel teeth here's a John Deere round baler it's a 335 a lot of people are looking for these smaller round bales to make like 4 by 4s horse people can handle them here's another tether and here's a, it looks like it be, it's got 550 written on it. Oliver. It's a 550 Oliver right there. Alright, here's an international grain drill. It looks like a double disc. Nice grain drill. Those are heavy duty too. Those grain drills doesn't have the small seed box it's a soybean special 5100 it's got the packer wheels okay over here we've got a John Deere six row dry fertilizer this is not no-till conventional right there nice planter here's a dresser it says pipe layer right there so I guess you lay pipe with it there you go it's got a cage in the front huh. all right here's another set of disc they're green so I guess they're John Deere's and here is a boom truck you can see this a mile away when you come down the road anybody needed a boom truck it looks like it's got a nice platform on top there it's an international truck right there here's a 9170 Dutes Alice four-wheel drive cab big tractor don't know how many horsepower this is got a lot of outlets in the back Here's a dump truck, steel bed, 450, power stroke. And here is a Gale manure spreader. It's hard to find a good used manure spreader. And they are in high demand, and a good used one is hard to find. That's a Gale. Now this right here, I had my eye on this. This is a no-till drill, Great Plains, with native grass cedar. So it has three boxes. It has a native grass, the big box, and the small box. And But it looks like it was rolled. See the top? It's all dented. Then if you look at the tongue, it's been welded like it broke right here. So to me, that's showing me that something happened to it. Possibly it got rolled. But if the thing works, I'd like to see what it goes for. Everything else looks okay underneath it. Here's a top dresser. 
There's two of those here. Grain head right there. That thing's got to be 30, 40 feet. Okay, here's an international semi. And here's a freight liner. Okay. And here is a, I believe this is for manure. This big blade. You dairy farmers know more about this than I do, but it's like a propeller on the end. And there's a shaft that goes all the way to the front, to the PTO. I think that's for liquid manure, ponds. Here's a, um, a Ford front end loader. Anybody needing a loader for their tractor? It says 70, 776 F loader. The bucket's there. Here's a post hole driller. Some parts. Some more parts. Here's a bale wrapper. It's an Anderson. You got to put the bale on it. It's a three point hitch. That's a wrapper right there. Then you got a brush hog here. A couple old set of plows. Here's a packer right there. This looks like an air compressor right there. And then there's a little four here. This thing's pretty cute. It's a 1710. It's got good skins on it. Nice tractor. I don't know how many horsepower that is. Okay, then we got an old six row corn planter, older, John Deere. Another grain drill that folds out. Doesn't look like it's no till. There's a packer. There's more tires right there. Flotation tires. There's a safe way. That's uh, shoring. If you dig a ditch, it looks like, I think you put that down in there to protect you. Okay, then you got a fertilizer wagon right here. That's pretty nice. Big little DMI. It's got the auger. It looks like it'll hold a lot. Right here, it looks like there's a dump bed for a truck. I don't know what size that is, but it's in good shape. That's for a truck. Here's a Dispine, John Deere. It's a 945. And it looks pretty decent underneath. Let's see how the turtles look. Yep. Looks like a wide cutter. Maybe 12 feet. There's another compressor. Here's a nice sprayer. Anybody looking for a big sprayer? Now this is a big sprayer. The width on those tires is huge. I mean the axle. I think you can adjust it though. Yeah, you can adjust it. But yeah, fold out booms. Big tank. It's got to be over a thousand gallons. Yep, that'll cover some ground. Okay, look at this. Here's my territory, a 1486. I got one of these at home. And this one is really nice. Yeah, that's a decent tractor right there. Fourteen eighty-six. Got one more set of outlets in the back than the one I have. Okay, here's a forklift, propane, it's got a propane tank in the back, cutter, here's a rake, another New Holland, it's a 256 rake, it's pouring down rain right now, looks like it's going to stop though. 
here's a John Deere rubber teeth dolly wheel rake. I used to have one of these. Here's an old military truck. Here's an International 354. Looks like a gasser. Yep. And the skins look good on it. The back's back looks good. It's got one outlet. 354 International. Okay, here's a Kinsey. What model number is that? That's a big 450C Kinsey. And then these things are pretty cool. I see these every now and then. A uh, coupe sprayer. Um, the tanks on these are only like 300 gallons. But, you know, you got your own motor on it. You don't need to pull a tractor with it. They fold out, the booms fold out, you're in a cab. Those are pretty cool. Okay, here's a John Deere skid steer, a 324G. That's a nice skid steer right there, guys. And let me see here, usually I look inside here and I look down and it looks like it's pilot controlled. There's no pedals on the bottom except for maybe a gas pedal. 324G. That's a nice, nice skid steer. Okay, then we got a bunch of running gears here. Older running gears. I'm working right through this rain. Try to get all this stuff in. And I used to have one of these. Look at this. A Ford 641 Workmaster. Now I this I believe let me see the front of this. Mine was a Golden Jubilee and it sort of had an emblem like that on the front. If anybody out there had a Jubilee, did it have that same emblem? It's a nice tractor. All painted up nice. Right behind it, we have a fertilizer spreader. A good one, used one of these is pretty hard to find because usually they're all rusted out. You know, they're all, if you don't take care of them, they won't last too long. The frames start cracking and stuff. Well, yeah, there's a fertilizer spreader. Okay, right next to the fertilizer spreader, we have an International 284 with a belly mower. And I don't know the horsepower on this, but it's got a three-point hitch. Okay, nice little tractor. Okay, in front of it we have a rotary hay rake. H&S RR420. Rotary rake. I heard these work really good. A lot of people like them. I've never tried one. But I heard they fluff the hay real nice too. Here's a New Holland 570. Square baler. Nice square baler. High capacity. Looks like it's got the kicker in the back. Yep, kicker's in the back. And it looks like it's hydraulic. Yes. Nice baler. Alright, next to this we have a mower. Right there. Then we have a Kubota excavator. These things are in pretty high demand. They're handy. You could do a lot of work with these things. It's a nice little unit right there. OK, 
Okay, right here we got like a top dresser. It's got a big tank on it. And anybody looking for a conveyor, there's one here. There was one over there. This is a long one. But these are nice for hay. I've got one for corn. Yep, if you live close, hook it up, take it on home. Here's a John Deere disc bind. This thing is nice. And this is a 630. I have a 530. These are nice disc binds. See what underneath looks like. Oh yeah, the turtles are real nice. It's flail. Nice mower. Moco. They're built like tanks. I love those mowers. Okay, anybody looking for an older hay tatter? We got a four star and a two star right there, older ones. Then you got some more skid steer tires. We've got skid steer pallet forks. We've got grapples. We've got buckets. We've got spears. All kind of stuff here. Here's a cleaner, grain cleaner right here. These are pretty handy, especially if you combine your own seed and you want to make it clean so it goes through the grain drill real nice. These things are nice to have. Okay, I almost missed a row here. There's another camper right there. Okay, then there's a blade right there, right next to it. Over here, we've got a nice John Deere. It's a 1770 no-till, folds out, corn planter. It's a big one. Look at all those hoses. Yep, and then right here we got a roller. They got anything and everything here, guys. You could buy a roller. Here's another two-star tatter. Right there. Here's a disc chisel. Now this thing's going to take some horsepower. This is a... It's green. Yep, it's a John Deere. Look at those disc chisels. Then in the back you got a set of hires and then you got some tines. So that thing would do you some work. And at these auctions, normally you see a piece of equipment like this and what's next to it? The tractor that pulls it. Right there, look at that, an 8295 RT John Deere. That thing's a beast. I'm guessing it pulled those chisels. Look, you got a ladder that goes up to it. 8295RT tracks. And on the back, look at this, rollover plows. Ooh, John Deere 4600s, I think. Look at the back axle on this. Wow, that thing is huge. All the outlets, that thing is enormous. There's these rollover plows. I don't know how wide these tracks are on this tractor, but it's got to be a good uh, 15 feet. Okay, right next to this tractor we have offset disc. They look like they're well built. Then we have, there's an old drop spread fertilizer or lime spreader right there. I used to have one of those right there. They come in handy. I mean, they spread lime. It just drops right out of the bottom. It doesn't throw it. But yeah, they do a good job. 
Here's a three bottom plow. And here's some spikes. Over here is an older set of plows. Looks like international. That's a six bottom. Auto reset. Here's another elevator. That's like the third elevator I've seen here, I think. And then right here, we're starting to get into these forage wagons. Right now is the time to buy one. If you wait till fall, price is going to go up on them because people need them. If you can get a forage wagon right now. Got one there, H&S. We have a four-row John Deere corn planter right there. Here's some more H&S forage wagons. I'm just going to walk right down the line here. These have roofs. This one here does not. Somebody took it off. Or it blew off. Here's a New Holland forage wagon. Another H&S wagon. And there's a Pats. I think that's a mixer. Here's an H&S wagon with the roofs off of it. And then we get into some of these gravity wagons. It stopped raining, so I'm going to keep on going. Okay, right here is a inline wrapper. I know the fellow that owns this. And if you're looking for a nice little unit, right here it is. I don't know the max size on the bales that you could put in there. But that does work. He just got a bigger one at this sale last year. So he doesn't need that one. Here's an International 238 tractor. I'm not used to seeing an International Yellow like that. And here's some big excavator buckets. Anybody looking for big buckets? Some extra teeth there. There's some teeth there. And look behind me, there's another 570 square baler with a kicker. And it's hydraulic kicker. Okay, nice, nice baler. High capacity, nice. Okay, here's a fertilizer spreader. Okay, this thing looks like it can hold it's a big one. It can hold maybe eight tons, maybe six. Not sure. But yep, that's a fertilizer spreader. Here's a little manure spreader. It's a Aco 3715. Okay. It's about the right size for a lot of people. I need a little bit bigger one. There's another drop spreader back there with no tires. And then there's a blade there for a skid steer. And then these come in handy. I bought one of these last year. These are lifts. You know, you put your pallet forks in there and lift you up. Like if you're painting your house or working on your gutters, just lift you right up. There's uh, pallet forks. Skid steer attachment. Looks like a little backhoe right here. Then you got all these post hole drillers here's a skid steer it's a John Deere 323D on tracks it's about the third or fourth skid steer I've seen here then you got some more skid steer attachments you have a, a ditch digger Roller tillers, roto tillers. I don't know why I always say roller tillers. And then you got some spikes here. You got a nice brush cutter. 
these come in handy. Got an old rake right there. I don't know what brand that is. It's belt driven. That's a belt driven rake. Okay. So right there is a chopper head. Looks like it could be, yep, it's for that New Holland chopper right there I showed you earlier. Then that New, Ch that New Holland chopper, it must have had this three row head for it. There's a big brush hog right there. Here's a four star bush hog tether, hay tether. Right next to it, we have a Frontier four-star hay tether. This is like nice. I think a lot of people are bidding on this already. Here's a Coon two-star. And here's an old set of rollover plows right there. Here's a nice H&S action hay rake. Looks like an 11 wheel with the, uh, well, 10 wheel with the kicker. It's a nice rake. All right, I don't know if they're selling this. It looks like they are, but that looks like a light, lights right there. And then um, there's a gravity box right there. Look at this, guys. Here's a 1750. John Deere corn planter six row dry fertilizer. It doesn't look like it's no till. Yeah, I don't see no till blades on it. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, it's no till. Yep, yep, they're right there. Right there. Yep, nice planter. Just walk around this thing. Max Emerge XP. Okay, if anybody's looking for a vehicle, here's a Mercury. And SUV. What's it say here? 2004. Okay. P inspection, tow package, yeah, not bad. Anybody looking for a vehicle? Here's a white tractor. I don't know what horsepower that is. Right next to it, we have a 2950 John Deere cab, two wheel drive. And then I'm guessing next to it, we have a Ford because it's blue. <laughs> it's the only way I could tell what it is. Yeah, it must be a Ford, four wheel drive. Then there is a round baler here. It looks like it has net wrap. Wel Welger, if I'm pronouncing it right, RP200. And then next to this round baler, we got a 4850 John Deere four-wheel drive with a cab. It's a big tractor. Here's some of these water containers. If anybody needs to pump water, you know, like out of a creek or whatever. I used to do that. And uh, there's some of those. And then right next to them, we got some nice fence posts, guys. Really nice. These things are getting more and more expensive. I don't know if any of you have gone to your local farm store and priced these. But you could be paying close to 20 bucks a post. So, I don't know what these will go for. They look like they're treated. A few different sizes. And then it looks like there's a pile of lumber here. I don't know what size these are. There's a big stack right there. And there's some more fence posts right here. 
Well, I got some more things to show you here. I got to go to, through the small stuff. So stick around for that. But I just want to remind everybody, April 20th at 9 o'clock, that's when this sale starts. And like I said before, it's on the corner of 89 and Route 6, Cory, Pennsylvania. Kim and Ray have done a really good job keeping this going. And they have it twice a year. Okay, it's a bit windy out here, but I'm going to go through and show you guys some of these small items. So here we go. Okay, we've got a oil tank there. We've got all kind of stuff. I'm just going to comb the area, and if you guys see something you like, come on out and bid on it. These are a bunch of calf cages right here. Looks like there's some cattle fencing, some fence posts. There's a lot of these tanks. Looks like a dog pen. A garage door. Calf hutches. There's a nice water trough right there, galvanized. Calf hutches. There's some steel fence posts and fertilizer spinner spreaders. A couple of those. And then you got some plows, discs, some more spreaders. You got a Lincoln, looks like a Lincoln welder. There is a tire balancer, all kind of stuff, belly mowers. A bunch of tires got some weights here I don't know what they're off of echo maybe then you got a belly mower and then you got some planter parts that are in crates right here and you got some of those water totes there's heaters right there. There's four of those. Um, looks like you got a little log grabber right there. See that? That's cool. Goes on a skid steer. That's pretty neat. Then you got a blade. You got some head catches there. You got a nice three point roller tiller. King cutter. There's a post hole driller, nine inch. Got some more parts. Got a bunch of gates right there. Some more tires. Some more gates. Look at all these golf carts. Anybody looking for a golf cart? They had some golf carts in the back too that I showed you earlier. Got some four wheelers here. There's a Sportsman 700 and a sport, another Sportsman 700 right there, a yellow one. Little lawn mower, and there's an older four wheeler. Little mini bike. Got some side by sides here. There's a lawnmower back there. A little go kart. You got some blades for discs. You got some tire chains. You got another dog kennel. You got a blade for a truck. You got weights. You got a brush hog belly mower and here's a generator right there on wheels you got these nice sheds these wooden sheds they're built really well check this out this is pretty cool these are for hunting and uh, isn't that cool it's like a little cabin let's check it out see how you get up in it You'll have to excuse me, I'm getting, getting over this cold, so my voice is a little froggy. 
But look at that, it's got a roof, it's got a little porch on it even. Looks like a hunting shack, or it could be a kid's playhouse. That is so cool. Huh. There's another one over here, it doesn't have the log siding on it. But it's just like this one, but it's got the regular lumber. It's got a nice little porch that you walk up in. Oh yeah, nice roof. Let's go up here and see if we can get take a peek inside. See what it looks like. Oh boy. Look at this. It's got the wrap all the way around it. It's got your slider windows so you can shoot out of it, I guess. Nice. That is pretty neat. Okay, and then you got, looks like a gazebo there. Look at this. Somebody's gonna want this. This is a chicken coop. It's got a little run. It's got a ramp. It's got a door. It's got a ramp for the chickens. Nice. Nice steel roof on it. Oh yeah. I bet you this thing's going to be in high demand. Open this up. Oh yeah. Look at that. I don't know how many chickens you can fit in here. I used to raise chickens when I was young, but never had anything like this. That is pretty neat. You got it even has windows. Look at the windows. Huh, and I believe this is your egg box. Open this up, collect the eggs. Nice. There's a nice little shed. Right here, it looks like these are like sidewalk blocks. They're on pallets. There's a bunch of these. Okay, right there you got a sickle bar mower. You got another spinner spreader. There looks like some rope there. That always comes in handy. You got a water tote. Looks like a rack for a truck with wenches on it. And then you got this wooden elevator. A bunch of gates. A couple belly mowers there in the middle. Snow blower, back blade, brush hog, old corn planter. Got some big tires there. Looks like a compressor. Another elevator, all kind of stuff. Here's an Oliver 550 tractor. It looks like it's gas. Then there's a 184 International with a belly mower and a blade on it. And there's some more gates right there. And then you got, looks like another truck rack, a sprayer, a fertilizer box for a truck. Then you got some more of these water totes. A lot of those around. An older sprayer. A sprayer trailer. More duels. Skid steer tires. Looks like some fans. Here's a barn fan right here. There's three Reese hitches right there on that skid. There's an old heater. Another post hole driller. More tires. 
There's a fan. Looks like a welder on a trailer. Look at this. A PTO. This one's pretty nice. It's got a flat tire. A Winco PTO generator. Okay, there's the outlets on it. But these come in handy. You can take those anywhere. 540 PTO. Quick hitch. Back blade. Another blade. You got more tires. Quick hitch. These right here, I brought these in. These are for a Kinsey or John Deere. These are fertilizer box brackets that hold the fertilizer boxes on your planter. I ordered them and they gave me the newer model. Mine takes the older model. So I brought them here if anybody could use them. It's for a four row, so you got two for each box. Okay, so you got other parts. There's some tires right there. What size are these? These look pretty nice. They're Michelins. 480 slash 80R 46s. They're 18.4R 46s. Huh. Okay, and you got some more tires here. You've got an older tire changer. Okay, and you got some international weights right here. I think they're a hundred pound a piece. And I think they're going about a hundred bucks a piece. I'm not sure. Okay, there's a little chipper. You got an older international, it looks like, 2250. Front end loader, right there. Fit an older tractor. Looks like a road cleaner. You got some more tire chains. You got a bunch of straps right here. Got an old sprayer. Got some plows. You got a welder here, looks like a miller. You got another post hole driller, another roller tiller. You have all these feed troughs right here, there's four of them. Another old tire changer. Well, I'm pretty sure I covered everything that there is to cover here. Sorry if I went a little bit too fast, but there's a lot to go through. Thanks again for watching Just Making It.